Good morning, people. What's poppin'? My name is Frank Nitty. Um, this is my channel, Ball on the Budget. I just pulled up to a Nike outlet. I haven't been here in a good minute. A good, good minute. Y'all already know what that means. If you were, you know, you've been watching me for a long time, y'all know that could be two weeks to a month. So we about to go inside and see what's popping. I'm curious to see what's in here. What's new? What's changed? What price drop? What new shoes did it have? Clothing, etc. man. So let's keep it moving. Oh, by the way, I'm at Nike International Drive or the Nike Outlet and the Premium Outlet International Drive. There's another outlet down the street, but that's a clearance store. So not trying to confuse nobody. All right, let's make it. Yo, I'm kind of super early. Um, it is currently 10, 10. The store opened at 10. So I'm not late. Sometimes it's a good thing to come this early, but it could be also a bad thing too as well. All right, so I'm kind of early. It is 10, 10 in the morning. So I'm like one of the few people in the stores. It's quite quiet as hell in here. Nike outlet sweats, hoodies. Oh, by the way, I got the Jordan 2 Lowe's on Chicago's. What in the world? What is this? This is crazy. It's a huge jacket, man. Reversible. They got that green on the left. They got that. Is that pink or gum? Or gum? A bubble gum pink. We got the island green in the back. It's a huge jacket, man. How much is this joint? Two fifty. See? Two fifty. I'm gonna show y'all the SB sweaters, man. You got this washed orange, which I do like. These are fire to me. I like that. They also got my other different colors as well. Well, actually one other color, which is that purple joint or blue. I don't know what color you want. You guys want to call this, but I like that color. And they got some random SBs. Sweaters like this one, Heather Gray. This one and that diffused blue. Remind me of the diffused Jordan 6s. They also got a new color, this future color. I think that's what you call this, or pink. Let's just keep it real. You got this pink joint. Um, and you also got one green. There was a plethora of these last time I was here, these international Nike SBs. And wrapping around the corner, yeah, SB t-shirts. Now I like these SB t-shirts because the quality's hit a little bit different than the regular um, Nike tees, man. It's phenomenal, they don't shrink. They're better than dry fit, but you're not playing ball in these. And what the price for this, 30 beans. And you got the shorts, these shorts is comfortable as well. You got the Just Do It in Orange. This is a lightweight hoodie. Embroidery on the chest, $44 for this joint. Look how they got them in two colors. They got that this fused blue again. I guess that's that color. What color you guys calling this, man? It's definitely a wash though. Then over here, you got the tie dye joints. You got it? All right, cool, cool, appreciate it. All right. So this is like the heat wall right here. So, go ahead. We got the Jordan 13s, the Island Green joints. Um, Air Force Ones, 270s, Vapor Max, Air Max 90s. These are different though. We got the Spider on there. These are different. Air Max 95s and, oh wow. They still got these in the building. What they going for? 219 is not bad. This is the, the one I actually like, the 2K, the yellow joint. And they're going for 174, which is not bad. I like this colorway of all of them. These are the BB Adapts, the self-lacing shoes. 174 is not a bad price. That's a pair of Jordan 1s. Which one is this? This is 219. That's crazy how this is cheaper, but whatever. What is this? What is this? Woman's Nike Dunk High up. Okay. And wow, look at the very bottom. For 80 beans. For 80 beans, you got these joints. The Asian Bull Fives. All right, man, we're gonna pass on these joints right here. Pass on these as well. These are the KD joints, the Trade Fives rather. Um, threes, Kyrie still in the building, who has not returned. Dan talks about trading. I don't know if that's rumors. I didn't hear from the sources itself. I've just been hearing it circulating. Um, I wish he comes back, man. The league misses you, Kyrie. Anyways, these are more fly traps for 80 beans. Keeping it moving. These are the low fly traps or mids, whatever you want to call them. I like the colorway on those, but I don't like the shoe. We passing. Wow, these are still in the building. I bought my pair from here. I think I paid the same price, $74. Um, multiple size, size 11, 11, 11. Um, these are the rest of the Jordans. Nothing really to even talk about. Yeah, let's keep it moving. We got the cleats. 
I'm showing everything because I haven't been here in a long time, so I don't know what's new. So you guys may just get a thorough outlet vlog, man. 99 beans for these joints. Well, $99. $99 is what I meant to say. Now, I do like these. These are BB Nest throwback promo, $75. That, that price has come down tremendously. So I do like that shoe. I have tried them on. It seems comfortable. I asked people who play in them. They like them. They also got another pair over here as well. This is the black joint. Again, they're team basketball. They're promo, 75 beans for those. You got the LeBron Witness all black for 95. I'm not crazy about them. Not crazy about those as well. They're cheaper though, 95. I don't know. The price go up? I can't remember. I don't pay too much attention to those. Uh, the red carpet joints, more LeBron Witness. Okay, they got the Laker colorway. Now, I don't think I've ever seen this colorway, man. 95 beans, not bad. The colorway is dope. I'm just not a fan of the Witness, man. I'll do the Soldiers. Um, I do. I have seen these. These are the brave versions. I'll do the Soldiers like these. I'm not mad at this. $119 for the, for the shoe, though. These are the Soldier, what's that, 14s? Uh, one of the best basketball shoes I ever played in is a soldier. It was an old joint though. And they got the black and white one for 119 as well. Ooh, the lighting look good over here. What's this? Tailwind 79s. 80 beans, we passing. They got them in the blue colorway as well. City in blue passing. Kyrie's are still $99. The N7 joints. I think I've seen these as cheap as $24. Now they're going for 40. Price went up on those passing. What else is in here? Now, these are different, man. Division low premiums. Uh, trademark. No, oh, I remember this. Okay. Oh, they put a little bit of design into this shoe. It's not your average uh, Vision premium leather on here. No, it don't. Just on the side panels. <laughs> uh, passing. We've already seen this. Nike, I appreciate you turning the music off on vlogging, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. <laughs> We got the Skippies. Nah, I'm just, I'm just playing. These are the Legacy Slips. <laughs> 40 Beans. Hard pass. Um, pass. 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 Now, you got the Grinch's color. I've seen these everywhere, man. The color is dope. That's probably the only thing cool about this shoe. But they're not. The Nike Waffle Ones, though. Same Nike Waffle Ones. No problem. Are you good? I like the color. These are the Challenger OGs. Pass. Okay. Black joints. So we got some canvas joints, Nike Court Legacy Canvas Mids S50. 70 beans for those, man. Color's cool. Not a fan of the shoe, though. We hard passing. These React Lives, very light, though. Seems comfortable. These look uncomfortable, man. These look uncomfortable for 70 beans. Pass. Element 55 is black, cool. The Summit White version 104. Four, pass, too expensive, 80 beans. Correlates, and men, I used to see these in women. $79 for these joints. Multiple sizes too. All right, the Air Max two times, y'all. It's still here. Y'all would try this if this price get below that. It's 90, like you need to be around 60, 59.99. Nike, you got me if you can get it below that. I like to, I like to go on a pair, man. The Air Max two times. I think they got different colors. Oh, that's not it. I thought that was the same shoe. Now these are cool. Colors are dope. I like the colors on these joints. Nike Waffle Trainers 2 SP. $70, multiple sizes, but look like all small sizes though. Oh, you got the Miami color right here. First use, June 18, 1971. That's the first time they used the trademark swoosh. The Nike check. You got the Zaconis. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just kidding, man. They're actually called the pass. Man, let's go to the center court. There's a few shoes I want to show you guys here. I don't care too much about these joints. Hard pass. Air Max 2017. I tried these on. Not for me. Pass. But these right here. These Air Max 180s. These things are hot. Y'all remember when they made KDs like this? They had a big old long boot up here. It came up to your knee. I don't know what they was thinking. I think it was the KD 10s or 11s, but it was silly though, man. That's what this reminded me of, but they're 180. The Ambush, I think, right? Yeah, Air Max 180, high Ambush. And they're going for 180. I have seen them in the outlet for 50 beans, believe it or not, in the white colorway. Two sizes, 11s is the biggest size I've seen in those. That's not what I want to show you, man. Not even these Blazer Mids. What I want to show you guys, these joints, the Jason Tatum's, the Zoo joints, bro. I've 
been searching for these for so long. I want to get a pair. I've struck out twice on sneakers, Foot Locker, and here they are in the outlet. Gotta get these, man. What's the biggest size they got? Size 11 and a half is the biggest size they got. And they're going for 195, man, which is, I think it was retail, right? 195 is retail, damn right. But yeah, man, finally, finally, finally. I think I'm gonna grab them. Yo, this faked me out real quick, yo. I thought this was the 10s, yo. If you think about it, when the last time they dropped a pair of 10s? Was it 2020? I think they dropped the Seattle 10s, the Magic 10s back in 2018. But yo, they haven't thought about or considered dropping some new 10s, man. I like 10s. But anyways, this caught my eye. <laughs> Jordan 10s, uh, TD mids. Wow, these are 10 mids. <laughs> Oh man, was it 11s? Yeah, it's 11 mids or 11 lows. Oh, Jordan one, take two, okay. There used to be a point in time you can come in the back wall and find a shoe or two below retail in your size. Now it's very scarce. It's like there's nothing back here. But this is like where everything goes before it goes into the trash, man. Like, what are these? Jordan Access. I know these are N7s. But like this is where everything get discarded, man right before they get shipped to Ross or TJ Maxx. It's nothing back here no more. Right now I'm in kids. And the only other retro I see is these uh, these eights. <laughs> They're cool, 180. Well, 80 is the price though. There's another shoe that I like that's been here for a good minute are these LeBrons. These are dope in my personal opinion, man. These are LeBron eights as well. Uh, BP, I'm not sure what that stands for, but they're here for 65. And I think it has gone cheaper before since then size y two y two and a half etc they even got the tomb squad joints man <laughs> this is a lebron uh 18 tomb squad for 60 beans multiple sizes as well two and a half etc team hustle the kevin hart shoe so we're still in line um, this is gs actually it's a whole bunch of lebrons in this aisle 114 for those joints 114 for those joints more tomb squad and they got two rows of these and these going for 90 beans y'all all up to four y seven y Five and a half wide, four and a half wide, three and a half wide. Whole bunch of uh, Tomb Squad joints. You flip it around, you got the Flyees 90s, man, in black. And you also got them in white and gold. You got that future color. What are they calling that? Concord pink and glow? Yeah. They're going for 80. And then you also got an all white one for 80 as well. Multiple sizes in all these joints. Five and a half, seven, et cetera. Multiple different sizes. I think that's a wrap for me, man. I'm going to get out of here. Um, I don't think there's any more to show, except for the Air Maxes. A lot of people have been asking me, Frank, show more Air Maxes for men and women, obviously, but I'd be, I'd be in my, you know what I mean? I'd be in the groove, so let's pull up and see some Air Maxes. What are these though, man? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, I've seen these before. That one they got in that olive color. They got them in this color as well, man. They're going for 70 beans. 70 beans, y'all. <laughs> They're crazy looking though. Oh shoot, they got them in black as well, damn. Yo, and the stock is depleting, y'all. Yeah? Unless it's just, they had it. Why the box so wide? God damn. I mean, can you blame it? Look, I, look at this shoe. It requires a wide box. As promised, man, I'm gonna show you guys the Air Max if I get out of here. 270 reacts for 130. That price went up tremendously. That used to be like $90, all black joint. 270 reacts for 130. You already know how I feel, man. 154.99. Gotta show it though. A lot of people like these uh, Air Maxes. You got more Air Max 2017 for 155. And then you got the Zero Essentials for 90 beans as well. All white joint. And then the Air Max 2090 for 140. Damn, the price went up on this. Oh, no problem. You're welcome. Why is the price up on these? I remember these was going for like 90 at its peak. Not in retail, gang. Yup, retail, y'all. 290 for this is pure platinums. The white, white wolf gray. Damn. That hurts. Why is it? I don't know. Air Zoom Type SE for 150. More Air Zoom Types. And that's not an Air Max. There you guys go, man. I know you guys want some Air Maxes. I delivered. They got the Toon Squad gear. The LeBron Toon Squad gear, man. I think that was a flop. I, I think this whole movie and gimmick and apparel was a flop, man. You got the shorts, multiple, in two different colors. A hoodie with the zipper. Oh, hell no. Hard pass. It's Rod Fit though, the hard pass. <laughs> I'll mess with the shorts. Does it got LeBron on it? Uh, GS. Yep, do got, got, got his logo. What else? Tomb Squad. Tomb Squad in the yellow. Yeah, man. Pass for me. 
So they had these Zion 34s as well. They're not, they're not on the floor, but they told me about them. So it's like, yo, bring them out, try them on. I guess they just came off the truck right before I left to offer it to me. Size 12, man, they're still tight, still tight, man. I don't know about these. They're going for 129, I believe. I think that's what he said. I'm gonna have to pass on these joints. They're so tight. So we pull up to the clearance, man. Um, we're gonna see if they got those size 12s that I need. You know, Jason Tatum's, the 34s, the zoo joints. So I was told they got three pairs here. So first I'm gonna check the shelves before I, I verbally ask for them. All right, child, let me interject real quick, man. Let me give you a little bit of context of what just happened. So I'm at the Nike factory store. Try to get those Jason Tatums. Um, the only size or the biggest size I see in the bin is 11 and a half. Well, I need a 12, man, because these basketball shoes run tight. So the homie scanned to see what other locations in my area or Orlando has them. And the pull up that the loop had like three pairs in my size. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna head over there. But first, you know, I do my due diligence. I call them ahead of time and it's like, yo, we don't see them. Um, we haven't processed all orders. We're more than happy for you to pull up later on to see if we have them in the building. So that's exactly what I did. Spoke with the people that I spoke to over the phone. They processed as much orders as they could and they couldn't find them. So it was a wasted trip. But nevertheless, it's not over though. There's a possibility I may have a chance of copying them. Small window, but I won't know until later today when you're watching this video. Now, guess what? I gotta go back to that same Nike factory store because I gotta pick up another pair of shoes and we'll wrap it up when you... <laughs> Yo, I'm back at night. Gotta make one last pickup from the Nike store. Right now it's like, uh, damn, 8.30. Place closed at nine. They're holding something for me, man. I'll show y'all when I get back to the crib. All right, y'all, so I got it in hand. I'll show y'all when I get to the crib, as promised. Yo, I need to come out here at night, man. It's dead out here. It's not that packed at all. And we're finally back in the sneaker office, man. A lot of back and forth, a lot of running around the day, a lot of good cops, a lot of empty promises, but it was worthwhile, man. So the hunt for those Jason Tatums is not over. But that said, man, I got a few, a few pairs of shoes I wanna show you guys, man. So let's get right into it. Keep the label. These are size 11 and a half, one of my sizes, but not particularly this shoe. You guys already know what this is. These are the Air Jordan 34 Jason Tatum's Welcome to the Zoo. I won this shoe for the longest, man. I won this shoe when it first dropped and restocked it like months later. This is how long ago this shoe came out. This shoe came out July or June of 2020, man. So well over a year and it restocked like twice, man. And I still shook out, but yet here they go in the outlet. When I tell you every shoe hit the outlet, 98% of the time, whether it's a return, whether it's a lost shipment, whether it's shipped from another store, whatever have you, I don't know how the logistics behind the scenes work, but I have pretty much seen or heard of some of every possible shoe hitting the outlets. And this was a shoe I thought was long gone, but the hunt for the shoe wasn't over. I knew it was gonna come to me in some form, and today it came in the form of an outlet fine. However, it's not my size, but it's a possibility I could still get my size. Now, what I like about this shoe is just the animal print. It's a good basketball shoe. I have a pair of the 34s. Let me show you another pair of 34s I own. These joints. These are the print lows, I believe. I copped this from the clearance store for $79. Not a bad cop. I actually played ball in this shoe and rocked it casually. And this is a size 12. Now, this is a low and size 12. And this is 11 and a half, and it's kind of like a high or a mid. So this does run a little bit tight, man. So. You gotta probably take out the sole, man. If you take out the insole, I feel like it's not doing the shoe justice. But anyways, man, happy to have it. It was retail gang at 194 plus tax, a little bit over 200. But I like this shoe, man. This is a shoe I wanna play ball. Very expensive, but you can also rock it casually too as well, man. So I'm praying that I can get this in my size or even a size and a half bigger, just so I can have multiple options on what I wanna do. But anyways, man, that's this is not it. Lastly, what I cop were these joints, man. Peep the label. These are size 12 and a half. Very rare you ever see me with a size 12 and a half. And these are Zion William Coloring Book. Actually, that's actually the name of the shoes, Coloring Book. I um, mean, you can see with all the design, multiple different colors throughout the whole mid foot of the shoe. Nike here on the back. These are dope. What's crazy is this, the Jason Tatum's, 
and these came out literally a day apart. I think one came out on the 30th, the other one came out on the 31st. And these are size 12 and a half. And I tried these on in the 12 and it didn't feel comfortable on my feet. So they told me they had one more size left and it was a 12 and a half. So they had a brand over on the truck. I said, I'll be back later. So if you have a shoe or if a shoe is in stock in the Nike store or it's in their warehouse and they got to bring a truck over, you can request it to be held for you, which I did, but you got to be there in person. So they held held it for me. So I had up to, you know, end of day to pick it up. And that's why I was there late in the evening. So I copped these. And y'all probably wondering, like, you just caught the Jason Tatum 34s. You already got a pair of 34 lows. Why would you need these? Yo, be honest with you, it was the price. These were hitting for $129 and is a size 12 and a half. And 12 and a half is very, very rare size. So anytime you see a 12 and a half, if you're between 12 to 13, well, if you're between that, you probably got a lot of 12 and a half, but it's optional, man. So if you are 12 and you need that extra room, feel free to jump up half a size, man. I did. Um, and the price is 129 So this is a steal, in my opinion. A basketball shoe for 129 that came out over a year ago is a Jordan Retro. Well, technically not a Retro, but this is the new 34s. And what we on, 36? Possibly 37? So, how to get. But it's called a coloring book, though. <laughs> that's weird. But anyways, that's my pickups. And the quest is not over. Hopefully some time today I'll know my fate about getting those Jason Tatums in my size and I'm probably gonna ask for a size 12 and a half man because that would be ideal to get that in my size it's crazy how I know a lot of shoes sell out and there's a lot of shoes that a lot of people don't want and they just leave on the shelf whether it's a Jordan Air Max you know what I mean Air Force Low there's a market for everyone there's a color scheme for everyone man so the fact that people don't care for those shoes and there was a plethora of them there, the biggest being 11 and a half and there was a few of those and down to like size nine and 10. It just goes to show us, man, there's, everyone has their taste and that was mine. It's that Jason Tatum shoe, I wanted it. And I'm, I'm one size away from having it in the collection. <laughs> But anyways, man, I know this video is real long. Thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, like what you just saw, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And everyone, have a wonderful holiday, man. And leave your comments down below. Let me know if you guys own this shoe. If you would cop, you know, man, 194, is it worth it? You know what I'm saying? And how tight do these things run? I'm waiting for from a size 12, possibly 13, 13 in these 34, 35, and 36, man. I love to hear your opinions. All right. You already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap. Peace.